What's up guys? It's me, Brian Smarty, and I just want to note two things that have been helping me during this cut. Uh, I've lost maybe six pounds, six pounds in the first 14 weeks. Most of it's probably water weight from my trip to Arizona, but I would say realistically probably two pounds. The number one thing is I've been working on my satiety, feeling full. Um, I like to eat foods that make me full for longer periods of time so I don't overeat. Uh, the main things is probably my chicken tenderloins and seafood, or mainly just salmon. That's how I get most of my fats. Um, it's like a commonly studied thing that white meat takes longer to digest, I believe, and it just keeps you fuller longer. So it's like eating a chicken breast or chicken tenderloin makes you fuller longer than eating like a beef patty, like a burger or a steak, something like that. Uh, currently, I'm eating about 1500, 1550 to 1900 calories a day. Um, I'm about 5'4". I started like 189, 189 pounds. Um, my, my favorite meal is probably the chicken burrito, tortilla, rice, two ounces of chicken, and some shredded cheese. Pretty solid meal. Um, and I don't do salsa. I've been doing uh, sriracha to keep the calories down lower carbs I think in terms of fat I get my salmon from Costco get bulk cheaper cheaper price I think it's about seven ounces per salmon like 30 something grams of protein but like a solid amount of fat um, so most of my fat comes from just that salmon and in regards to like snacks I've been doing Greek yogurt Greek yogurt and whey protein powder as a uh, my snack before bed or I'm, I've been working out later in the day on the weekdays on the evenings probably like around 7 p.m. so by the time I'm done that's if I do have cardio it's like around 9 knock that out get my last 30 grams of protein in before I round up the day I do have I do have snacks throughout the day uh, rice cakes I do like mini drumsticks those uh, What's it called? Ice cream cone. That's like, uh, what's the word? Chocolate covered. They're like mini, maybe like the size of my fingers. About one of those is about 70 calories. I could fit that in in a day if I'm feeling like a sugar rush. Jello is also another hack. I learned that from Dr. Mike Diamond from YouTube. Just want to add to. I have the American Express Gold Card. So that gives me like a $10 credit to Shake Shack or Cheesecake Factory. So either like once, once or twice a month, I'll do a Shake Shack burger just to fit in my macros and utilize that credit. Or I would do a, I think it's called like a lunch special from Cheesecake Factory uh, for the pizza. I think it's like a meat, meat style pizza, <laughs> something like that. That nearly really takes care of that credit. It still fits in my macros. Piggyback on that American Express thing, I do have 10 to $20 credit for Uber Eats. So normally once a month, I've been doing a Kushi Sushi. Shout out to Wesley for some sushi to fit that in my macros, probably like once a month. Number two is just, I, work, I have a sedentary job. I work from home most of the time. I'm not doing anything uh, or I'm not moving really. I'm doing stuff, which is not moving. Working, I probably get like less than 4,000 steps a day. So I've been working on two, two to three sessions of 150 calories on the bike in terms of cardio. And I think once a week, you know, I'm gonna go to One Life and knock out about 250 to 300 calories on the Stairmaster just to get my move, my steps going. Uh, definitely low intensity steady state cardio just so it doesn't deplete my energy I've been finding I've been lacking energy a lot definitely when I'm on that 15 to 1600 calorie type of day it's, it's a toll it's stressful well that's about it uh, leave some things in the comments any questions concerns something like that or just drop some love Thanks for watching. See you next time.